Hi fans, a lot of action yesterday and early this morning in the Connie Mack World Series. Six games were played, though it took a while to get them done, and three of those were elimination games. Game 7 was the first elimination game, and it featured the battle of the Lone Star State, the Dallas Tigers, and the Doolin Dodgers. Both lost their first game of bracket play. The Dodgers jumped out with a three-run lead in the first, added two more in the second, and then the lead by a score of 7-1 to one was what they did in the fifth. They never looked back as the Dodgers win this one 9-3, to three, eliminating the Dallas Tigers. Game 8 was the other elimination game at the sports complex. This one was between the Colton Nighthawks and ABA from Albuquerque. The Nighthawks lost 10-2 to, to their neighbors from Southern California in the first round. Albuquerque also lost in eight innings to a thriller to the host team by a score of 8-6. to six. In this one, the Colton Nighthawks took an early lead and they never turned back, winning this game and eliminating 88 from the Connie Mack World Series. Game 9 was the only elimination game at Ricketts Park. It featured the elite squad from Louisiana against the UBC Nationals from Texas. Elite squad lost a close one to the perennial power Florida Legends 8-6, to and UBC Nationals lost to the most successful team in the Connie Mack World Series history, the Midland Redskins, 8 to nothing in the first round of bracket play. The lead went back and forth in this one as Elite Squad scored four in the first inning. UBC tied the game in the second and it was four apiece. In the bottom half of the same inning, UBC erupted for six runs and took a 10 to six lead. Elite Squad cut that lead in the fourth, but UBC continued to score to win this one in six innings by a score of 15 to seven. UBC eliminated Elite Squad from the Connie Mack World Series and will move on into round three. Game 10 was a battle with the Lone Star State as well, as the powerful teams of the Texas Sticks and D-Bat United squared off. D-Bat jumped out to an early lead of two to nothing and added six more in the top of the six to make it eight to nothing. What looked like could be a shortened contest turned into a great comeback as the Texas Sticks scored eight runs in the bottom of the sixth inning to tie it up eight to eight. Then in the top of the seventh, D-Bat broke it open again, scoring four runs. They win this one by a score of 12 to eight. This was a winner's bracket game, so both teams will play in round three. Game number 12, is, we'll go to game 12 first because it was played first. It took a while to get to that one, but we did get it in after a three and a half hour rain delay. Now, this was really more a weather delay than rain because no rain fell, but because of lightning and because of all the threatening weather, they had to postpone it. But they did start the game as the Florida Legends jumped out to a three to nothing lead, but they couldn't hold off the Midland Redskins. In the seventh inning, the Redskins score four, and in the bottom half, Florida Legends unable to score. The final score in this game 12 between these two perennial powers was 4-3 with the Midland Redskins coming out with the win. Then we move back to game number 11 which was actually the last game of the evening which featured the Southern California Renegades against the host team. The 505 Panthers played a tough one. The only two runs scored in this one came in the first inning off a home run. There was a two run home run by the Southern California Renegades. Those were the only runs scored in the game, and the Renegades to defeat the 505 Panthers in a winner bracket game by a score of 2 to nothing. Round 3 will feature three elimination games, which means we will be down to six teams left in the Connie Mack World Series after today's action. In game number 13, the Doolin Dodgers from Texas will take on the Colton Nighthawks from California. The Dodgers remained in the tournament after a 9-3 win over the Dallas Tigers. The Nighthawks won their elimination game 12-0 over ABA from Albuquerque. Game time for this one is 10 o'clock. Game 14 will be another Lone Star battle. We've had many of them in the Connie Mack World Series as the Texas Sticks take on the UBC Nationals. And again, this is an elimination game. UBC won their elimination game 15-7 over the Elite Squad from Louisiana. The Texas Sticks lost in a close one in bracket play in their first round of the bracket play by a score of 12 to 8. Game time for game number 14 is 1 o'clock. Game 15 will be the final elimination game of the tournament and will feature the Florida Legends and the 505 Panthers. This game time will actually be at 7.30. On the bracket it shows 5.15, but because it's a host team, that game will be played at 7.30. And Game 16 will feature two of the three teams that are left undefeated in the Connie Mack World Series. 
as D-Bat will take on Southern California. Game time for this one is 5:15. Want to remind you that you can hear each and every pitch of the Connie Mack World Series on the official broadcast station, which is KSJ Esports. This has been a Connie Mack World Series wrap-up with Coach Carpenter, a recap from Ricketts Park.